and those storms knocked out power to about 60,000 customers across our region. And that included about 32,000 mid-American customers in the Metro QC. At last check, in the last five minutes, more than 2,000 mid-American customers are still without power, and it could be another day before it's restored. Maddie Franz is live in Bettendorf tonight. Maddie, you spent the afternoon in impacted neighborhoods, and there's some good news for residents there tonight. Hi, John. Just in the last two hours, Mid-American crews restored power to these Bettendorf homes near McManus Park. That includes replacing this utility pole. Now, during the storm, it was snapped in half after a tree fell on the power line, leaving this neighborhood dark for about 24 hours. There's a lot of people out of power over here. The damaging winds of a derecho, combined with an EF1 tornado through the Quad Cities metro, left their mark. I knew something was going to go on because it wasn't like a normal flicker. It was actually like like waving in and out almost. Andrew Nash and his family lived near McManus Park in Bettendorf. And I'm assuming that's when the tree over there decided it was going to fall on the power line and then eventually it just snapped. The tornado passed less than a block away from his home. I say out of everything, we got pretty lucky. We don't have any noticeable damage. Mid-American says most customers can expect restored service by 7 Wednesday morning and everyone by 7 that night. Our refrigerator's pretty much toast, so that sucks, but um, we still got stuff in the freezer, just trying to keep stuff in the freezer cold. People also lost power near the start of the tornado's path in Davenport. We tried to look outside, but the wind was so strong, it could, we couldn't we could even open the door, so we said, hey, let's go downstairs. Just east of Brady Street, wind gusts of up to 100 miles per hour sent massive tree branches into Tony yeah, Morgan's well, fence. The wind hit it so fast and furious, that it cracked those branch. His family lost power Monday night, but got it back Tuesday afternoon. This street, this whole street, had no power on 32nd. And while he waits for a new fence, Tony is counting his blessings. By the grace of God, no damage to the house. You know, uh, just a fence. You know, always think. Now, earlier today, I spoke to Mid-American crews in that Davenport neighborhood. They said they're working 16-hour days to get the power put back on. John, back to you. Yeah, a lot of her work there. Thanks, Maddie.